welcome to this brand new episode of Wild of the World. And we are still on our big trip through the Caribbean. We started in the Dominican Republic and we're going all the way to Suriname island hopping. And the next stop is French and Dutch at the same time. Two countries on one island, St. Martin. Let's do a little recap. We're island hopping in the Caribbean and you first saw us in every corner of the Dominican Republic. We experienced incredible nature and a bit of history too. Next up was characteristic Puerto Rico with colorful streets and some natural hidden treasures. Now we fly from San Juan to Phillipsburg to explore one of the most unique islands in the world. This is St. Martin. Even though St. Martin is a pretty small island, there's not so much public transportation. So I recommend you to rent a car, because walking through these mountains is also not an option. And in four days you can see the entire island. We have this huge minivan. So let's do it. On St. Martin we stay over on the east side of the island in Oyster Bay. Just between the French and the Dutch side, just on the Dutch side. The hotel's name is Princess Heights. We have a studio and this is our kitchen when we do all the cooking and making coffee. This is the bathroom. And the room, guys, is particularly big. Not bad, right? And the most amazing feature here, of course, is the view. Which is this one. from our balcony and with the drone is absolutely breathtaking. Like I said, St. Martin isn't very big. It's only 8 kilometers in diameter. It's divided in a Dutch and a French part, which are named St. Martin and St. Martin. through the colorful streets of Phillipsburg and explore the Dutch side. We'll hit the capital later as we drive straight to some of the highlights first. The best beaches on St. Martin can be found on the south coast near the airport. But a stop at Harold Jack's viewpoint is also worth it because it's amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> Seriously guys, this view, you can see everything. On the one side we see Coal Bay and on the other side is the incredible natural harbor of Phillipsburg called Great Bay. The bright green lake over there is the Great Salt Pond, surrounding Pond Island. Have you ever seen such a combination of colors? The most famous beach on St. Martin is this beach called Maho Beach. It's just outside the airport and everybody here is waiting for the planes to land because it's almost touching the beach and then it lands here on the airport. Awesome! This is really spectacular stuff, but if you come to this island to do some chillaxing, I'd recommend another beach. Because just a little drive further is Mullet Bay Beach, which is my personal favorite beach of St. Martin, especially on the Dutch side. It's so lovely. Now this is paradise! Mullet Bay is also known as the habitat and the nesting area of sea turtles. The nesting season is from April to November, but if you're lucky like me, you can snorkel with them all year round. The Dutch capital of Phillipsburg feels like a small village. It has a population of only 2000 and it's very rewarding to take a stroll through the nice shops and restaurants.
This place makes us feel right at home in the Netherlands. Hey, I believe that's my bike. So what are we making over here in 24 Kitchen of Wild of the World? Uh, we have some pumpkin with corn and chicken nuggets from the grill oven. While drinking, a whiskey and coke. You gotta have standards while you travel, right? Oh, it's no punishment to wake up here on St. Martin. I will show you the view to which I wake up every morning. to enjoy that fantastic pool with a view. The east side of St. Martin near Oyster Bay really is the perfect getaway. And we can also see one of the next islands on our trip. Over there is St. Bart. A very good morning with super weather here in St. Martin. Or should I say bonjour? Because of course today we're going to the French side of St. Martin. Let's do it! This is the only place where the Netherlands and France share a border. And from there we literally drive to the highlight of Saint Martin. The highest point on the island of St. Martin is on the French side and it's called Peak Paradis, the Paradise Peak. And we're going to walk over there. You can almost get there by car, but the last 10 minutes or so you have to walk. We can see the two capitals. This is Marigot. And on the other side we see Phillipsburg in the distance. But this walk will show us a lot more as we reach the top. So when you get to the top, there's this big antenna, so you can walk around it. And on every side you see another part of St. Martin, but you can also see St. Bart's. You can see Anguilla, and you can even see Saba and some of the Virgin Islands over there. It's really amazing, this view. On a clear day like this. In the back over there is St. Bart. And that steep hill over there is Saba. The flat island nearby is Anguilla, where we'll be going next. Way up on the north side, on the French part of St. Martin, you will find this beach called Anse Marcel. You will have to drive a bit through the mountains, but over there when you get there, the view is amazing and this beach is gorgeous. In 2017, Hurricane Irma caused a lot of damage to St. Martin. Especially on the French side. However, the country has been recovering quickly. And this particular spot is truly heaven on earth. We're spending our last day on the pool side here in St. Martin. And then it's time to move on to the next island which will be St. Kitts of the country, St. Kitts and Nevis. Have you ever heard of that? I'm really looking forward to see what's happening over there. 
Guyans! But before we leave, we make two side trips from St. Martin. First to laid-back Anguilla, and then also to the picturesque Saint Barthélemy or Saint Bart. See all this and the relatively unknown Saint Kitts and Nevis soon. Subscribe to What of the World. Ciao.